My name is Betty Roberts and I am a production specialist at the Clovernook Center. Uh, I've been at Clovernook from off and on from 1990, 1971 till now. Day to day task at Clovernook Center, I put Braille books together. I also put Braille uh, Bibles together and I also check for quality control for magazines that's coming off the collator. My personal story is I was a preemie. I was born at seven months. I was put in an oxygen to keep me alive. I had a twin. We were both put in oxygen. Unfortunately, she didn't make it. She lived a day. Um, I was the fifth child of eight children. I grew up in Cincinnati. I, I went to school in Cincinnati. I graduated from Cincinnati High Public Schools. I did pretty much what all my sisters and brothers did. My mother did not hold me back. She taught me do everything that everybody else did and if I didn't do it, I got in trouble just like they did. I, when I graduated, I didn't want to go to college and it's because I didn't want to leave home. I was, <laughs> I was just stuck at home. I was a homebody. I did get married. I had a son, I have a son. I have two grandchildren. One thing I want the world to know about blindness, to interact with a blind person, they want to be treated the same as a sighted person. They don't want to be uh, patted on the head and say, oh, you so pitiful. They, they don't want that, and I don't want that. I want to be treated as equal as possible. I need help sometime, but just don't put me in a category because I'm blind. You know, that, that don't help people. Uh, motivation, it don't help them uh, live as normal as possible. So just give them a helping hand every now and then. One fun fact about me is I love bowling. I absolutely love to hear that ball go down that alley and if possible hit those pins. I just, that's something I enjoy. That's something that I can do for me. Um, it, it helps me be independent as I can do a sport uh, just like someone else can do a sport and that's my sport.